Well, I think if he continues to cause trouble for Putin, uh, then his life expectancy may well be shortened. Well, firstly, I'd agree with uh, Nina Khrushcheva that this has definitely weakened Putin's authority. Uh, I don't think this was a serious attempt at a coup. I think it was more accurately described as a mutiny, and clearly Prigozhin um, overreached himself. Uh, he didn't have sufficient force or sufficient support, really, to take control. Uh, but what he was trying to do was to keep his forces out of the control of the Russian army, and he doesn't appear to have succeeded in that. But this leaves a whole load of unanswered questions. What will Prigozhin do now? He's in Belarus. He's not very far away. Uh, will his Wagner troops really come under the control of the Russian uh, defense ministry? Will Putin change the military leadership? And can Putin regain uh, authority in Russia? His leadership has been weakening over a period of time. He's been uh, rather isolated, pretty absent. Uh, and the war, as Nina Khrushcheva was saying earlier, quite rightly, has been going very badly. Uh, and then Putin has delivered this melodramatic message to the Russian people yesterday, uh, telling them that the fate of our people is being decided and uh, calling for a consolidation of all forces. Uh, that's a sign of weakness. That's an alarm call to people right across Russia uh, that things are not going well. And so um, I think that the odds on Putin remaining indefinitely in power, which is what he wants to do, uh, have um, shortened. Uh, but right now he is still in charge. Mm. When we talk about Bukosian, I mean, is he going to be allowed to direct the Wagner forces? Is he, I mean, is he still going to be alive? There have been some suggestions that, that Putin might try to, to get rid of him in the, the days or weeks or months ahead. Well, I think if he continues to cause trouble for Putin, uh, then his life expectancy may well be shortened. Uh, it would appear from this deal that Prigozhin will not be uh, commanding the Wagner forces uh, from Belarus. But you know, what happens to those forces? And we're talking not about a huge number of people, but people who have done some of the more effective fighting in Ukraine, uh, somewhere between 10 and 25,000. Um, uh, the Russian military leadership have been trying to integrate those forces uh, into their regular army. They tried to uh, oblige Prigozhin to sign a contract with the Russian Ministry of Defense under which they would come under the control of the chief of the general staff, General Gerasimov. Well, we wait to see whether that will now happen um, or whether there will be some split in the forces. Uh, this is simply a question we don't know. We don't know what Prigozhin is going to do in Belarus uh, whether he will keep quiet there, which is not characteristic of Prigozhin, uh, whether Lukashenko, the Belarusian president, will allow Prigozhin to play some kind of uh, a public role in Belarus. What do you make of the role of President Lukashenko and that, that Putin, it seems like, turned to the Belarusian president saying, help me out here because he didn't want to hold direct talks. Does that give Lukashenko greater power? What, what do you make of, of that role? Uh, I think it's humiliating for Putin that he has to turn to Lukashenko, somebody he has treated as a, as a lackey ever since Lukashenko's position in Belarus got weakened, uh, that Putin has to turn to him to broker a deal with Prigozhin is a real sign of weakness for Putin. Um, that said, I don't think that Lukashenko is in a very strong position. He appears to be quite ill. Uh, he has only managed to cling on to power with Putin's help over the last three years. Um, and he's not really a friend of Putin. Um, he and Putin had pretty bad personal relations over many, many years. Uh, from time to time, Lukashenko was quite rude about Putin. Uh, and he's not a man that Putin trusts. Uh, so I don't think this is necessarily very good. I mean, it's a little boost for Lukashenko. He comes out of this looking good, Putin looking bad. Over the long term, I don't think this changes the realities of power in Belarus, where Lukashenko knows that a large number of his people 
uh, don't actually support his leadership and would wish to get rid of him if they had the chance to do so. Mm. Um, US officials have been speaking to the Washington Post saying that the White House knew about this rebellion for some time, uh, saying they knew he was planning something as early as mid-June. How is that the case when it appears that certainly Putin's inner circle were taken by surprise? Well, this has been building up for several weeks because Brigozin has been more and more openly and more and more stridently uh, criticising the Russian military leadership and by implication rather than directly Putin. And these tensions between Wagner and the Russian army uh, now go back for several weeks. You'll remember that Prigozhin actually pulled his troops out of Bakhmut. He said he was fed up with having his troops slaughtered in the meat grinder of Bakhmut. They'd done the heavy lifting there. So he pulled them out and said, right, well, the regular army can now deal with Bakhmut. So uh, the split between Prigozhin and the Russian military leadership has been in the public domain for a long time. And it was really a question of when it was going to come to a head. At a certain point, Putin was going to need to rein Prigozhin in. Uh, that they tried to do. As I say, they tried to make Wagner, uh, Prigozhin's outfit, uh, agree uh, to a written contract under which they would come under the control of the Russian Ministry of Defense. Uh, and this particular uh, outbreak yesterday was really Prigozhin's reaction to those attempts by Putin to bring him under control. So, in a way, uh, the fact that this came to some kind of a head wasn't a surprise. The way in which it did, the way in which Wagner were able to take control of the large city of Rostov, a place I know very well, uh, was surprising. And then this rather absurd gesture of driving tanks up the road towards Moscow, where they were never going to be able to take Moscow, was um, a fairly dramatic bit of gesture politics by, by uh, Prigozhin. 